Hello everybody, it's the Cynical Shiny, welcoming you to a new playthrough. Playthrough is... Sinnoh Alice. It's a very unique take on fairy tale characters. Primarily the, uh, females usually, but... <laughs> it's a really cool game, and we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna show you a few things, just kinda show you around the game. Play a little few levels and we'll go from there but we're gonna go ahead and start this up might take a minute to load but you might hear my fan in the background that's you hear a buzzing sound that's what that is because this room's hot so <laughs> well we got a Got a list of uh, events and notices and like you know just just a bunch of stuff that we don't have to really worry about right now because they're all special events and whatnot. I'll go through them eventually, show them off. Royal user service—that's a thing where they like uh, you pay like I guess like what. $4.99 for a week or $11.99 for a month and they give you like gems every day and like a couple of tickets reduce your purification times which is that the thing you can do to get more AP to play more levels and get experience to level up and you know you can buy that and you can get like tickets and stuff like that and increase you know it's it's a nice little thing and you can exchange the medals that you get for uh, badass weapons that you get from the Grimoire, which is uh, how you summon characters and weapons and stuff, which is primarily the two things that you do summon in this game, is weapons and characters. And see, this is like, it's $3.99 for a week, and $11.99 for a month, for 28 days, basically. Uh, I'm not going to sign up for that right now, I probably will later on, um, but here's the title screen. There's my waifu. Alice, the very start, very first character you start out with is Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and this is what she looks like. I believe she is the Breaker class. There's different classes, like, each character can get. Like, I believe with Alice, I have, uh, well, let's just check it out. I'm gonna tap that, and I'm gonna hit this button here. And these are the classes I have, the characters I have unlocked so far. I have Alice as a Breaker, Alice as a Mage, uh, Snow White... As a breaker, uh, I believe that is Little Red Riding Hood as a crusher, I think is what they call that class. You know, it's a melee class, basically. It's like Alice and uh, Snow White are breakers, they call them, because they use, because uh, they get a special, like, bonus when they use the sword weapons. But they can pretty much use any kind of melee weapon, but they, like, they're in, they're a uh, a physical attack is increased when they use swords primarily during their playthroughs. Same with uh, the the different uh, like uh, that. This is a well, we had a Little Red Riding Hood Crusher because she gets a bonus for using hammers, the hammer class, and then we have Little Red Riding Hood Cleric, which gets a bonus for using staffs, which is like the magical version, like your swords, your uh, spears, your your halberds, you know, your stuff like that, that's your melee class, and then you got like your your books, your like your familiars, your uh, crystal balls, and like your other stuff like that, that's your magic classes, and like I have uh, I have a cleric, I have one, two, three, four, Mage classes, well, technically, the Little Red Riding Hood's a cleric, so that's not really a mage class, but, so we have one, two, three, four, four again still. One mage class, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven melee classes. Anyway, I'm just, this is all the classes I got, and you can change which character shows up on your title screen from this screen, but we're gonna get out of that. And, uh, we're just gonna... I don't know. Let's see. What can I do? 
Well, I don't have enough AP to really show off any of the levels right now. So let's do purification. I'll show you what purification is. Start purifying? Yes. It's going to sit you out in the screen. And Pinocchio is my main character, so that's who we're going to be playing as right now. Because that's the character I'm going through the story with right now. And it's basically, this is how you purify and gain AP and some experience. Like, I already leveled up. Oh, it's trying to do it good. You have a certain time limit. So, gotta gotta be quick. And chain. Oh, I can do a special attack. Eliminate everybody. See, when you fill up those little orbs on your person, you can do that uh, screen clearing attack that I just did. Oh, dang it. Hey, we got level 30, though. We're right on. And plus 134 extra AP. So we can do a lot of stuff with our AP now. And they just fully restored my AP. And my rank went up to 30. And my weapon limit cost, which is the amount that all your weapons can uh, come out to, like the uh, max amount that your weapons can come out to on your characters, it got raised by 3, so I'm up to 169. Very nice. Oh, unlocked a couple things. Let's check it out. Alright, so I got wrinkled 30, so that gets me 20 more of the Midnight Twilight Crystals, which is how you uh, use the Grimoires. Which is something that we'll do. And I uh, get to claim that since I... A purification ticket. No, that's a skip ticket. Never mind. Purification ticket's this one. Yeah, but I ain't gonna be able to fight in the Coliseum because... One gripe I do have about this game is it's like... To fight in the Coliseum, which is like your uh, clan battles... You have to wait like a full 23 hours. And you only get like a certain amount of time to... Get in on the fight when it comes around each day. And then after that, you have to, like, wait a full 24 hours, and that's annoying. You know, they should cut that down to at least maybe half. Maybe a fourth of the time. Like, get more battles in there so more people can get more stuff, and, you know, clans can actually matter a little more. But, that's just my main complaint about that so far. Everything else is like that, and the, uh, the combat's kind of basic. It's like you can just basically, like, just set it on... I'm just going to claim these rewards while I'm talking. Uh, basically, you can just set it on auto and just, like, play through the levels. Especially when you've played through them before and you're just going, like, collecting, like, grinding for stuff. But, I like the story. The story's, uh, the creative director of this game is Yoko Taro. For anybody that's familiar with Yoko Taro's work. You know how crazy and fucked up that shit can get. Sorry for cussing, but, you know... This may be for YouTube and whatnot, but I'm not going to hold back on my language. So, sorry if any young people watch these videos, but you gotta grow up sometime, so there you go. And you'll notice that I have about 7 hours and 56 minutes before I can actually do a purification again without spending one of those tickets that they show. I have 14 of them right now. I could use one and just... A automatically just do another purification if I needed it. But since I don't need it right now, I'm just going to hold off. When I do need it, I can just use a ticket, and they're easily replenishable, you know, just basically doing certain events and whatnot. And here, I'll kind of show you what the battle battles are like. We'll do a, we'll a co-op battle here. I'll worry about the main story here in a little bit. I'll start showing that off, and then I'll probably do like a sep separate video series where it shows off the character stories, and I'll just play through the actual levels themselves, and like just do like, here's the gameplay videos, and here's the lore videos, because that'll make it a lot easier, and that way I can like let them play through, and like you guys can see the whole story without having to wait on these videos, like I play like three or four levels at a time, blah blah blah, but anyway... We're going to go, we're going to hit reset, or update, and we're just going to go to the Book of Dependence 1, Chapter 1, Level 2. Uh, I'm going to set myself as 
Pinocchio because this is his book and Book of Dependence because well you'll understand why once we get into the lore of these characters because it's pretty dark and basically we're just helping out someone else play their level it's like it's your character plus like four uh, CPU characters and they're random characters from different players in the servers some can be your friends, but most of the time you're just going to like randomly get hooked up with a person and, you know, after the battle, you know, you can get stuff that way. Like, uh, we got two bronze chests there. See, I already cleared this off, but we got two B rank weapon uh, leveling items. That was convoluted and upsetting to say, but... Basically, they're like the weakest uh, upgrade items you can get. But you get a bunch of them. And you can use a bunch of them to upgrade your item, your weapons and stuff. And see, these are the characters that we fought with. If you want to follow somebody, you just hit the follow button. And this tells them their name, their character, who they're playing, their rank, at right then. And then their battle points, which is like the max amount of, of attack power that the character has with the weapons and stuff that they're equipped with. That's like, that's like defense plus attack plus everything all added together for the character. Ooh, a friend. Let's go help a friend. Yeah, you can get friends medals helping your friends with their co-op battles, which is like another way to get uh, items. So you'll notice I have it on auto mode because it's basically just like... I don't. I could take it off auto mode and just play myself, but at this point of the game, I've already cleared like I got a bunch of characters past chapter two, and there's a bunch of characters at chapter two, which I'll show you why here in a minute after we get through this fight, which we just did. Excuse me. Yay, we did it. I love the voice acting in this game, it's so nice. It conveys each character's, like, personality so well. Hey, we got some gold and another weapon upgrade item. Sweet. And there's our friend, Maxi6. Rank, rank 55, but I'm still close in max points with him. Uh, with everybody here, almost. Which I still have to upgrade some items and get some new items through the Grimoire and stuff, so. Well, we're going to head back home. Let me see. What else can I show you right now? Oh. Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and clear this. Let's go ahead and collect this. Yeah, my friend medal. I'll take that. Yeah, heck yeah. Thank you. Alright. Well, I'm going to show you the story real fast before I end this video. And we'll move on. We'll... I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about chapters. Like, see, each character's chapter, like, each character you play as. Like, see, Alice and Snow White, they meet in chapter 3. So what I did is I completed Alice's chapter up to 3, and I completed Snow White's chapter up to 3. But I haven't played it yet. And I did that with Cinderella and Gretel, because they meet in chapter 2. The same thing with Sleeping Beauty and Red Riding Hood. And uh, Princess Kyoga and Pinocchio, which I'm in the middle of playing through Pinocchio's first chapter right now. And then once it's complete, then we can actually, then I'll actually go back and go play through Alice again. And we'll go through each of them individually like that again. Play through their, like, meeting battles or whatnot. So that's my plan anyway. That's what I'm planning on doing. But I also plan on showing off, like, the levels and stuff. But definitely the lore as well. Which, I'm going to end this video for right now. Uh, this is Sinnoh Alice. I hope to make this, like, another kind of playthrough kind of deal. I'm hoping anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all check out this game. It's really cool. The story is really good. The art is really great. The music is awesome. And it's like, yeah, just, just check it out. It was, like, on pre-register for... Ever, and then finally it finally got a global release so I'm really happy been playing it like crazy I'm up to rank 30 you know 
which I've kind of laid off a couple of days before I decided to make these videos. So hopefully we can get back into the swing of things. So until then, until next time, I am the Cynical Shiny, of course, and y'all have a nice day. Okay? Thanks.